correct. Welcome. In a minute, let's spell the word across. Across. The meaning, please. Oh, the meaning is from one side to the other of something or expressing movement of a place or region. Across. Across. A C R O S S. Across. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let's spell the word zigzag. Zigzag. Can you please repeat the word? Oh, yes. Zigzag. Can I have a definition? Oh, yes. A zigzag is a line on or course having abrupt alternate right and left turns or a turn on such a course. It's a zigzag course. Zigzag. 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 Z I G Z A G. Zigzag. Correct. Your number, please. So, in a minute, let us spell the word jumbo. Jumbo. Meaning, please. Oh, the meaning is an untidy collection of things. A jumble of things. Jumbo. Sentence, please. Oh, yes. She wandered. She wandered at the door. A confused jumble of emotions disturbing her eyes. A confused jumble of emotions disturbing her eyes. Jumble. Yes. Jumble. 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 Meaning please. The meaning is a collection a collection of things. But they are untidy. Untidy collection of things. Jumble. Untidy jumble. A jumble of untidy things. Sentence again. Okay. She wondered at the door, a confused jumble of emotions disturbing her eyes. Jumble. Meaning again. An untidy collection of things. A jumble of things. Jumble. Jumbo. Jumbo. G U M B E L. Jumbo. Not correct. The correct spellings are J U M B. L-E, Jumbo. Welcome. In one minute, let us attempt to spell the word mosque. Mosque. Meaning, please? The mosque is a, a Muslim place of worship. Mosque. M-O-S-Q-U-E. Mosque. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let's spell the word helmet. Helmet. Please, can you repeat? Helmet. May I have the definition, please? Yes, a hard or padded protective hat. A hard or padded protective hat. Can you repeat the word? Helmet. Helmet. Yeah. May I have an alternative pronunciation? Helmet. Can you repeat? Helmet. Helmet. Should I give you a sentence? Yeah. Boda Boda drivers wear helmet. Wear a helmet every day. Can you repeat the word? Helmet. 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 H. E L M E T helmet. Correct.
Ladies and gentlemen, after round five, we, have, we now have seven contestants remaining. And they'll begin round six right away. Remember to face the camera and face the judges while you're spelling. All the best. Welcome. In one minute, let's spell the word consume. Please, can you repeat the consume. word? Consume. Please, can I have the definition of the yes. word? Yes. It means to eat, drink, ingest, or buy goods or services for personal use or to use up. To consume. Consume. C-O-N-S-U-M-E. Consume. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word hostage. Can you please repeat? Hostage. Definition, please. A hostage is a person seized or held as security for the fulfillment of a condition. A hostage. Hostage. H-O-S-T-A-G-E. -H hostage. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word abandon. Please repeat. Abandon. May I please have the definition? Yes. Give up completely or leave permanently. Abandon. 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 A-B-A-N-D-O-N. -A -A abandon. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us, let us spell the word various. The meaning, please. The meaning is different from one another or different kinds of sorts. Various. Various. V A R I O U S. Various. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word wrestle. Wrestle. Can, you, can I have the definition? Oh, yes. Uh, take part in a fight that involves close grappling with one's opponent, either as sport or in earnest. Wrestle. Wrestle. W-R-E-S-T-L-E. -E. Wrestle. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word fiction. 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 Yes, fiction. Meaning, please. The meaning is literature, especially novels, describing imaginary events and people. Imaginary events and people. Fiction. Fiction. F I C T I O N. Fiction. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word fantasy. Can you repeat the word? Fantasy. 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 Fantasy, may I please have the definition? Oh, the faculty or activity of imagining improbable things. Fantasy. May I please have the um, alternative pronunciation? I don't think there is one. Fantasy. Um, can you put it in a sentence? Yes. We love playing fantasy league. Can you repeat the word? Fantasy. Fantasy. F A N T A S Y. Fantasy. Correct.
Wow, that was a perfect round. Seven contestants. And we will be beginning round seven right away. Contestants. Na mtazamaji wa ITV Super Brand Africa Mashariki sasa tunaingia katika mzunguko wa saba. Oh, very well. Welcome. Thank you. So in a minute, let us spell the word restrict. Restrict. Please can you repeat it? The meaning is put a limit on or keep under control. Restrict. 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 R I S T R I C T restrict not correct the correct spellings are R E S T R I C T restrict Welcome. In a minute, in one minute, let us spell the word keyboard. Can you please repeat? Keyboard. Keyboard. Keyboard, keyboard yes. Definition, please. Uh, it's a panel of keys for use with a computer or typewriter or a set of keys on a piano or similar musical instruments. It's a keyboard. Keyboard. K-E-Y-B-O-A-R-D. Keyboard. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word anemia. Anemia. Please repeat. Anemia. May I please have the definition? The definition is a condition in which there is a deficiency of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood. May I please have an alternate pronunciation? Anemia. 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 A N E M I A anemia Not correct The correct spellings are A N A E M I A anemia Welcome In a minute let us spell the word eloquent. Eloquent. The meaning, please. The meaning of eloquent is very impressive and expressive. Eloquent. Very impressive and expressive. Eloquent. An application sentence. Oh, she has, she has an eloquent face. Or oh, she speaks with an eloquent voice. Can you repeat the word? Eloquent. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Eloquent. 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 Yes. Eloquent. A L L O Q U O N T. Eloquent. Not correct. The correct spellings are E L O Q U E N T. Eloquent. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word symmetry. Symmetry. Can I have a definition? A large Burial ground. Burial ground. Okay? A cemetery. Cemetery. Yes. If you wish. Cemetery. C-E-M-E-T-E-R-Y. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word ornament. Ornament. 
Ornament. Yes, an ornament. Meaning, please? An object designed to add beauty to something. An ornament. Ornament. O R N A M E N T. Ornament. Correct. In a minute. Welcome back. Let us spell the word accurate. Can you repeat the word? Accurate. May I please have a definition? It means capable of or successful in reaching the intended target. Accurate. May I have a sentence? Yes. His report was accurate. Accurate. May I have accurate. Any alternative pronunciations? Accurate. Accurate. Can you repeat the word? Accurate. Accurate. Again? Accurate. Accurate. Accurate, yes. Accurate. His report was very accurate. Accurate. Yes, accurate. Accurate. A C C U R A T E. Accurate. Correct. Yes. After round seven, we now have four contestants that will be heading into round eight. But before before we begin round eight, uh, it should be noted that uh, five contestants from this category will go to the East African Championships. Now we already have four. These four will automatically go into the East African Championships. Mtazamaji wa ITV Super Brand Afrika Mashariki katika mzunguko huo wa nane sasa wamebaki washiriki wanne na lengo hasa la mashindano haya pia ni kuweza kushiriki katika le mashindano ya Afrika Mashariki yatakayofanyika tarehe nane mwezi wa 12 lakini pia hapo awali walikuwa wanahitaji washiriki tano lakini kwa vile sasa wameza tukupatikana washiriki wanne basi hao ndio watakao ingia katika le mashindano ya mashindano ya Afrika Mashariki kwa kundi hili la Andre na Biz The last contestant remaining will join the four and go to the South African Championships. Also, I have been asked to, 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 to ask the parents in the audience not to clap until the judges have deemed if the word spelled is correct or not correct. All, all three of you please come on stage, all three. Okay, welcome guys. If you have a mic, then we can do the minute thing. Judges, are you ready?
mtazamaji wa ITV Super Brand Afrika Mashariki katika kundi hili la Andrena Biz walikuwa washiriki sita na pia tukaweza kwenda katika mizunguko nane mpaka kuweza kuwapata wale washiriki wane lakini hivi sasa hapo wapo washiriki watatu ambaye ni namba 4 namba 8 na namba 11 hawa sasa tunaenda kuwatafuta mshindi namba tatu, mshindi namba mbili, na mshindi namba moja. lakini pia tukumbuke kwamba <coughs> yule mshiriki namba tatu, alijitahidi sana kimasomaso kuingia katika kila mzunguko kwa kuuliza maswali mengi mpaka ilifikia wakati sasa anaambua hakuna kwamba kuuliza tena lakini pia katika mzunguko huu tumeendelea kuona kwamba wana, baadhi ya wanafunzi wamekuwa hawatizi ile sheria za shindano hili la tahajia kwani Mwanafunzi anapofika pale mbele anatakiwa sasa baada ya kola kumpa lile neno la kuspell anatakiwa muombe kola ampe sentensi ya neno alilopewa lakini pia anatakiwa mwambie kola nini maana neno hili anatakiwa pia afahamu asili ya neno anatakiwa alirudie kutamka neno lile lakini kwa kufata masharti yote haya yatampelekea washiriki hawa kuweza kushinda kwa sababu unapouliza sasa ndio unapata ufafanuzi zaidi kwamba neno hilo lina maana gani kwa vile kuna baadhi ya maneno yanakuwa ni tungo tata zile au maneno ambayo yana maana zaidi ya moja. Kwa sasa ni lazima ufahamu hizi sheria zote ili uweze kujua kwamba neno hili lina maana gani na kuweza kulitoa yale matamshi ambayo utakuwa umeambiwa. Lakini kwa sasa sasa tuingia katika mzunguko wa tisa ili kuweza kutafuta nani mshiriki ama mshindi wa kwanza, nani mshindi wa pili, nani mshindi wa tatu. Okay, there's been some changes. Um, contestant number eight had spelled the word anemia as in A-N-E-M-I-A, which is the Americanized version of the spelling. The British version is N-A-E-M-I-A, -E which we corrected her with. Uh, now, unfortunately, the rules that we had gone with today were we were going to stick to British spelling, but some of the schools previously the instructions they were given by the organizers were that British and American spelling will be accepted so because of this confusion we have to make some changes normally we'd stick with the British school uh, with the British spelling but we find it unfair for the students who were told that it was acceptable to use both American and British uh, and therefore they'll be unfairly penalized so in this instance uh, and going forward we shall accept both versions of spellings if we are erroneously giving out uh, only the British spelling, we can be notified by the, um, the parents who will visit the assistance table and notify us, and then we can make changes going forward. For this reason, we shall accept number eight, contestant number eight, as a correct spelling, and therefore she shall be included in the final fifth. And for that reason, we have our top five, and we do not need to commence with the knockout round. Contestants, thank you, but you may have a seat now. So we shall now continue with our top five and um, work our way onwards to the runner-up, the second runner-up, and the champion. Thank you. Contestants, please have a seat. Thank you. <coughs> Judge hapo ametoka kutoa ufafanuzi kwamba huyu mshiriki namba 8 amerudishwa katika mizunguko mingine kutokana na kwamba neno lile anemia alilitamka kwa kwa sababu katika Kiingereza kuna British pamoja na American English. Lakini sasa judge aleleza kwamba inaonekana kwamba hawakuelezwa kwamba wanatumia kama ni British English au American English. Just to please come on stage. Welcome. Congratulations. In one minute, let us spell the word telecast. Can telecast. Please, can you please repeat? Telecast. Definition, please. The definition is a television broadcast. <clears throat> telecast. T E L E C A S T. Telecast. Correct. Welcome. Congratulations. In a minute, let us spell the word judgment. Can you please repeat the word? Judgment. Can I have a definition? Yes. 
the ability to make considered decisions or form sensible opinions, a judgment. Judgment? Yes. Judgment. J U D G E M E N T. Judgment. Correct. Welcome. Congratulations. In one minute, let us spell the word abnormal. 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 Meaning, please? The meaning is deviating from what is normal. Abnormal. Not Ab normal. Abnormal. A B N O R M A L. Abnormal. Correct. Hey, welcome back. In one minute, let us do, let us spell the word horrible. Please Hor repeat. Horrible. Horrible. May I please have the definition? Oh yes, it's a very unpleasant or abnormal action. It's a horrible action. Horrible. H-O-R-R-I-B-L-E. Horrible. Correct. Welcome, congratulations. Thank you. In one minute, let us spell the word thorough. Can you repeat the word? Thorough. 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 Yes. May I please have yes. an alternative pronunciation? Thorough. Thorough. I could give it to you in a sentence. Yeah, please. We did thorough preparations for spelling bee competitions. Thorough. May I have the definition? It means complete with regard to every detail. Complete with regard to every detail. Alternative. Uh, performed with or showing great care and completeness. Thor thorough. Alternative pronunciation. Thorough. Thorough. Not thorough. 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 Yes. Thorough. Thorough. T H O R O U G H Thorough. Correct. A round of applause for our contestants. We still have five. We will begin round nine. Judges, we are ready when you are. Welcome. Congratulations. And let's continue. In a minute. Please spell the word maneuver. Can you please repeat? Maneuver. Definition, please. It means a physical movement or series of moves requiring skill and care. Maneuver. Maneuver. M-A-N-O-E-V-E-U-R. Maneuver. Not correct. The correct spellings are... M A N O E U V R E maneuver. Welcome. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. In a minute, let us spell the word category. 
Can I have a definition? Oh, the definition is a class or division of people or things having particular shared characteristics. Category. Category. Category, if you like, yes. Category. <laughs> C-A-T-E-G-O-R-Y. Category. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word chaplain. Meaning? Chaplain. Chaplain. Meaning? The meaning, of the, the meaning of the word chaplain is a member of the clergy attached to a private chapel, institution, or regiment. Member of the clergy. Alternative pronunciation? Chaplain. 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 Say it again. Chaplain. Yes, chaplain. Chaplain. C H A P L A N E. Chaplain. Not correct. The correct spellings are C. H A P L A I N Chaplain. Welcome and congratulations, and let's spell the word in a minute. Let's spell the word misspell. 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 Yeah. May I please have a definition? Oh yes. It means spell wrongly. May I please have an alter pronunciation? Misspell. 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 Yes. M I S S P E L L. Misspell. Correct. Welcome. Thank you. In a minute, let us spell the word contrary. Contrary. Can you repeat the word? Contrary. Contrary. Yes. Contrary. May I please have the definition? It says it's opposite in nature, direction, or meaning. It's contrary. Contrary. A sentence. She answered questions contrary to instructions. May I have an alternative pronunciation? Oh yeah. We could, we could do maybe two. Contrary. 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 Yes. Contrary. C O N T R A R Y. Contrary. Correct. After round nine, we now have three contestants remaining. Now, these contestants make up our top three for the Andrena category for the Tanzania National Spelling Bee Competition 2018. A round of applause, please, for them. I'd like to call the contestants on stage for the next round. Spell the word stubborn. Can you please repeat the word? Stubborn. Can I have a definition? Oh yes. Determined not to change one's attitude or position. Stubborn. 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 Yeah. S-T-U-B-B-O-R-N. Stubborn. 
correct. Welcome and good luck. In a minute, let us spell the word medieval. Please repeat. Medieval. Medieval. M medieval. Please repeat. Medieval. Yes. May I please have the definition? Oh yes. Relating to the Middle Ages. Very old fashioned or outdated. Medieval. M-I-D-E-V-I-L. Medieval. Not correct. The correct spellings are M E D I V. Sorry, M E D I E V A L. Medieval. Welcome. Thank Good luck. In a minute, let us spell the word. Perverse. Perverse. Can you repeat the word? Perverse. Can you repeat it once more? Perverse. Perverse. Perverse, yes. Perverse. Perverse. Yeah, please have the definition. Oh, yes. Showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave unacceptably. Perverse. And a sentence? Most animals have perverse behavior. Humans, too. May I have an alternative pronunciation? Perverse. 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 P E R V E R S E. Perverse. Correct. Yes. After round 10, we now have two contestants. Num contestant number 8, you can now join the audience. Join the audience. Yes. A round of applause, please. Our two contestants will go head-to-head -to, -head to get the champion for the Andrena B for this, for this year's category. Welcome. Good luck. In one minute, let us spell the word ignorance. Can you please repeat the word? Ignorance. Can I have a definition? Oh yes, it means lacking knowledge or awareness in general. Ignorance. ignorance. Yes. Ignorance. I-G-N-O-R-A-N-C-E. Ignorance. Correct. Welcome. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. So in one minute, let us spell the word equipment. May I please have the definition? Or the items needed for a particular purpose. Any equipment. alternative pronunciation? Equipment. Equipment. And a definition? The definition is, uh, well, the definition is uh, items needed for a particular purpose. But if you want a sentence, Yuma sells sports equipment. Okay. Please, can you repeat the alternative pronunciation? Equipment. Can you repeat the word? Equipment. Okay. Equipment. Yes. Juma the, sells equipment. And the last one, last, can I, can you repeat the word? Yes. So, in a minute, let us spell the word equipment. 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 E. Q. U. I. P M E N T equipment. Correct. <laughs> the last two are still standing, and uh, we'll go for round eleven. Welcome. In a minute. The word to spell is catalog. Can you please repeat the word? Catalog. Can I have a definition? Yeah, the definition is a complete list of items arranged in alphabetical order or other systematic order. Catalog. A catalog. Catalog. C A T A L O G U E. Catalog. 
Correct. Welcome. Thank you. So, in a minute, the word is magnitude. 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 Yes. Any alternative pronunciations? Magnitude. Can you repeat the word? Magnitude. Once more, please. Magnitude. Magnitude. Yes. Magnitude. M A G N I T U D E. Magnitude. Correct. Welcome back. In a minute, the word is potential. Potential. Can I have a definition? Uh, it means having the capacity to develop into something in the future. A great potential. Potential. P O T E N T I A L. Potential. Correct. Welcome back. Thank you. In a minute, let us spell the word. Should we go? Should we go ahead? Okay. Let us spell the word transform. I have the definition. Subject to or to undergo transformation or change. May I please have any alternative pronunciation? Transform. 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 Yes. Transform. T R A N S F O R M. Transform. Correct. Hello. So, in a minute, let us spell the word cultivate. 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 C U L T I. V A T E. Cultivate. Correct. Uh, he's on live TV, and we need to give him the time to get ready. This is now round 14, and we still have two contestants that are contesting for the first and second places. Our contestants are Abasali Megji from Aga Khan Primary School, and Faima Mortaza from Al Muntazir Girls Primary School. These are our two finalists, and uh, Faima has already spelled the word correct in this round. We are waiting for Abbasali to spell his word to determine the cause of the competition. Welcome. Are you good? Please pick mm. up your mic. Thank you. So in a minute, let us spell the word guarantee. Please repeat. Guarantee. Any alternative pronunciations? Guarantee. May I have the Guarantee. May I have the definition and the sentence? It's a formal assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled, especially that restitution will be made if a product is not of a specified quality. A formal assurance, a guarantee. And the sentence? It says, can you guarantee our safety? Can you repeat the word? Guarantee. Guarantee. G U A R A N T E E. Guarantee. Correct.
Ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of round 14, and we still have two contestants remaining. Up next is round 15, and uh, well, that will be beginning right away. Welcome. Welcome. So in a minute, let us spell the word faultless. You have a definition? Faultless. It means having no mistakes. Can you please repeat the word? Faultless. Faultless. F-A-U-L-T-L-E-S-S. -S. Faultless. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word headspace. Headspace. Can you repeat the word? Headspace. 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 Yeah. May I please have the definition? It means the amount of air or empty space that is left above the contents of a container before it's sealed. Headspace. May I please have the sentence? It says the headspace of a high bottle is very little. Kilimanjaro bottle is very little. I have the alternative pronunciation. Headspace. Headspace. Head space. Head space. Yeah. Head space. H E A D S P A C E. Head space. Correct. Welcome. In a minute, let us spell the word hesitancy. Hesitancy. Can I have the definition? It means slow to act or speak uh, through indecision or reluctance. Hesitancy. Hesitancy. Yes. Hesitancy. Like hesitant. Hesitancy. Hesitancy. Yes. It says, do you want me to give you a sentence? Okay. In spite of his hesitancy, he wasn't about to quit. In spite of his hesitancy, he wasn't about to quit. Okay. Hesitancy. H-E-S-I... T A N C Y hesitancy. Correct. Okay. Hi. So, in a minute, let us spell the word heredity. Can you repeat? Heredity. Guarantee. Heredity. Should I give you the meaning? It means the process by which mental or physical characteristics are passed by parents to their children. Hereditary. Heredity. Heredity. Any alternative pronunciations? Heredity. 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 H E R E A D I T Y. Heredity. Not correct. The correct spellings are She has to repeat the same. To pronounce the word which oh, we got wrong, yeah. Okay, okay, very well. Heredity. <laughs> heredity. H E R E D I T Y. Heredity. Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, after 16 very entertaining rounds. I'd like to present Ms. Faima Murtaza as the champion for the Andrena B category for the Tanzanian National Spelling Bee Competition 2018. Mr. Abbas Abbasali Megji is the first runner-up. Abbasali Megji from Aga Khan Primary School and Mr. Argya Patel from Aga Khan Primary School is the second runner-up.
if we could have the three winners on stage for a brief photo session as the sweet bees are getting ready for their rounds. Organizers, please arrange the sweet bees for them to get their rounds. Mtazamaji wa ITV Super Brand Africa Mashariki kama ambavyo hapa mmejionea katika mizunguko hii ambayo nafikiri tulifika kama mizunguko 20 hivi ili kuweza kuwapata hawa washindi wa kwanza, wa pili na wa tatu kwani kila mmoja alionekana kutokutaka kabisa kuwa kumwachia mwenzake kinyang'anyiro hicho. Lakini pia uh, hawa wanafunzi ambaye ni mshindi wa kwanza anaitwa Fahima Rukaiya Mutaza Virana ametokea shule ya msingi ya wasichana Al Muntazir alafu yule mshindi wa pili anaitwa Basali Meji ametokea shule ya msingi Agakani na mshindi wa tatu anaitwa Aragia Patil ambaye huyu pia alitokea shule ya msingi Agakani lakini pia niweze kuendelea kuwakumbusha kwamba katika yale mashindano yaliyopita kwa mkoa wa Ilala kundi la Adrenabiz Huyu Fahma pia alikuwa mshindi wa kwanza, alafu huyu Aragia Patil alikuwa mshindi wa tatu. Kwa wote wameendelea kuziweka zile nafasi zao kama zilivyo. Lakini hapa tumeza kumpata huyu mshindi mpya sasa ambaye anaitwa Basal Meji kutokea shule ya msingi Gakani. Na hawa wote wataenda kushiriki katika le mashindano ya Afrika Mashariki yatakayofanyika tarehe nane mwezi wa 12. Na mtazamaji wa ITV hapo awali nilikuwa naelezea kwamba Mashindano haya kwa mkoa wa kimashindano wa Kinondoni kwa siku ya leo yanawakilishwa na washiriki ishirini na moja ambapo kwenye mashindano ya mkoa kulikuwa na washiriki mia hamsini na sita kutokea shule ya msingi saba ambazo hizo shule ilikuwa ni shule ya msingi Shekilango, shule ya msingi Mapambano, shule ya msingi Kijitonyama, shule ya msingi Makumbusho, shule ya msingi Victoria, shule ya msingi Kanosa na shule ya msingi Atlas Madale. Na washindi wa Sweet Bees kwa mkoa ule wa Kinondoni alikuwa anaitwa Ana Mkini kutokea shule ya msingi Kanosa kulikuwa kuna Penina Nasib kutokea shule ya msingi Kanosa na Abigail Mapinduzi kutokea shule ya msingi Kanosa lakini pia katika kundi la Andrena Biz pia kulikuwa kuna Edwin Makanja alikuwa anatokea shule ya msingi Kanosa Rehema Moshe kutokea shule ya msingi Kanosa Caroline Mashingia kutoka shule ya msingi Kanosa kwa hiyo katika mashindano yale kwa mkoa wa Kinondoni tuliwapata washindi wote kutokea shule moja ya Kanosa wote hawa kutaka kabisa kushindwa kabisa kat, kuingia uh, katika mashindano haya lakini niendelea kuwakumbushia kwamba tuta tunaendelea kuwakumbushia kwamba taasisi ya isiyo ya kiserikali ya Coconut Foundation kwa kushirikiana na Wizara ya Misemi na Elimu uh, imeanzisha mashindano haya kutamka rufi kwa lugha Kiingereza yenye lengo la kukuza elimu bora na uwezo wa kuweza kujeleza katika stadi muhimu za maisha. Sasa tutaendelea katika mapumziko mafupi kisha tutarudi katika lile kundi la Sweet Bees. Mitandao ya kijamii ITV, Facebook at ITV Tanzania, Instagram at ITV TZ, YouTube ITV Tanzania, Twitter at ITV TV Tanzania website www.itv.co.tz
Usikose kufuatilia ripoti maalum ambapo tutaangazia mlima wa ajabu wa mchanga uliopo kati ya Msimbati mkoa ni Mtwara. Ilitokea kitu kama sasa hivi tunaweza tukaita kama tsunami. Kwa hiyo ule mji ukafunikwa na maji. Vae kama ni kivutio kwa sababu wana watu wengine wageni wanayekuja inawanogea sana kwenda kuangalia. Mchanga wake ule yani ni tofauti na, na, na mchanga mwingine katika eneo hili. Ulivyo vile una mesa mesa fulani yani ukienda kuna kuna vitu fulani vinavyokuonyesha machoni kwamba una mesa mesa fulani. Ni milima ambayo naweza nikasema ni tofauti na milima ya sehemu nyingine. Mlima huu pia unaweza kuwa ni moja ya kivutio cha utalii. Katika pwani ya Afrika Mashariki ni milima ambayo ni mirefu kuliko mingine yote. Lakini pia ina uoto ambao ni wa kipekee ukilinganisha na milima mingine. Watalii wanapotembelea ukanda huu wa kusini kile ni kivutio kingine kimojawapo ambacho pia ni sehemu ya utalii. Ni juma nne, saa tatu na nusu usiku hapa ITV. Leo kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa nimeweza kuwaona Tembo kwa karibu zaidi na nimeweza kiukweli kufurahia yani nimeona ni experience ambayo sijawahi kuipata maisha ni mwangu Nimeona kwa karibu na walikuwa group kupo pia tembo mtoto mdogo ambaye alikuwa ananyonya kwa mama yake pia alikuwa dume mkubwa alikuwa kwa wengine wa majike wakubwa kwa hiyo nimejaribu kuangalia na jinsi ambavyo wao walikuwa wako friendly na sisi sisi tumesogea kwa karibu kabisa tunapiga picha tunaangalia tuna enjoy lakini wao walikuwa 